All right, so as this is brand new, we're talking about Google Events here, Google Plus Events. You're going to have to give me a little grace, please, so in case I make some assumptions that aren't quite exactly right. So I've clicked on the show me the learn how to learn how to use the Google Events, and it says let's take a quick tour. So this is what's come up. I'm going to click on take a quick tour and see where it takes us. So it's loading up, and it says that we can add event details. Start with the essentials about your get-together, add a title, date, and location. So let's just add something in here. Demo of events. And that'll be my title. Uh, then it says to do a date. So let's say today's date's fine. How about we make it um, 4.30 this afternoon? And I see that I've got the option to start at 4.30 and end. So I can click on an end time, and we'll say the same date will end at so make it an hour long, 5.30. And then if I want a location, I can put that in. Right now I'm going to leave it blank, but this could be something really handy and helpful if you are into um, local search and you want to make sure you get found for stuff. Then, so title, date, and location. So I'm going to click Next, see what happens. It says I can make my invitations stand out. I can use the arrows left and right to select a featured image. So let's just click on that, see what we get. So we got baseball stuff going on, skiing, um, shoes, a show, that kind of thing. Or I can click where it says change theme to add my own theme or photos. So let's do that, change theme, see what that brings us up to. Uh, it brings us so I can select a theme that's on the list here. These are all kind of animated, which is kind of neat. At least they seem to be mostly animated. Um, stationary, I believe, is going to give me a list of more static ones. I can bring in my photos. So I can look through the different photos that I've uploaded. Or I can choose Upload. And Upload lets me, for example, select a photo from my computer. Um, let's go to this one. I'm winging it, okay? So just bear with me. I'm trying to get this done quick. So it's uploading a photo. Uh, look, we've got a cropping area. So this cropping area, I can select the particular area that I want to be working with. And then uh, down in the bottom left, it says set as theme. I'll click on that, and that's going to bring a theme in. So there it is. Just customize that top part. Um, from what I remember reading, that is 940. I'll put that into details right here. That's a 940 by 280 sized image for the theme. All right, so that's just sort of something to put in right there. So now I'm going to go next. Make your event a hangout. So I can choose what kind of event it is. So we click here, event options. Um, choose your event. Can't be in person. Guests can invite other guests or other people, or guests can add photos. So those are a couple neat options. Uh, that's basic. Let me back that up. All right, let's go to the advanced. Uh, it says that I can, there we go. I can choose it to be a hangout. I can make it an on-air event, like hangouts on air. Or I can show additional fields. So let's see what it says here. You can't meet in person, plan a video chat with your friends, right? That's hangout. We have already did that. Sorry, I guess I should just read these and jump ahead. So invite guests. Oh, the uh, additional fields. That was an important one. How can I back up? Can I back up? Please, let me back up. All right, so I'm going to click Next. No, nope, got to back up here. So there we go. That might be edited. Who knows? So I'm going to say Event Options. There we go. Then I'm going to show additional fields so you can see what's going on here. So additional fields, we've got the ability to add in a website URL. And what I've already learned is if you just do the Ws, It'll add in HTTP for you. If you don't do any WWWs at all, it puts in HTTP and then the name of your site. So I'll just do the Ws. So we got videoleadsonline.com. If you have a ticket seller URL, that's interesting. If you have a place where you sell tickets, you could do that. You can put in a YouTube URL. Uh, let's see if I've got one of those handy. Okay, so we're back. I went and grabbed myself a YouTube URL and I'm going to paste it in here. And then if I had parking or 
travel information, I guess I could put it there, and then I can invite people. This is a particular one that is dealing with an event, unfortunate event going on in my town, which is a forest fire that's come into the city. So I might have, I already have a list here. It's called the Waldo Fire. Actually, let's just not do this. This is, I'm going to put in a bogus circle. Um, actually, i just put my name. I'll invite me. That'll do good enough for now. Um, then let's see what it says. Make your event a hangout. Next, we're jumping around. I invited a guest. That's me. And it says you can add circles or click the plus this icon right here. The browse. I think it's browse people. Yeah, browse people icon to add individuals. And then when you're done, you click done here. And I'm going to hit invite. And what it's doing is it's sending the invitation. There it is. It says demo of events. There's my invitation. And there's the text for it. If I uh, go and view the event, I click on that, it takes me to this part of the page where you see the event. It's as if you clicked on the event tab on the left. And we can scroll up and see there's the video showing uh, the burn area of this particular video. Uh, and we've got the, my official website. You'll note that it automatically put in the full URL for me. And just as a reminder, the size 940 by 280 is what's up here, this very top theme element. And for the people that are going, they'll be listed here. And when you invite other people, it says who's invited on the right side and whether they're going or not with a maybe or they've not acted yet. And I believe one last thing to show is this little blue tab. If I click on it, that shrinks things up. And basically, it gives you a smaller view. You don't see all that extra detail. But if you click on it again, it opens up kind of a neat visual fashion. And there you go. There's an overview of events. So for more tips and tricks about utilizing YouTube, I'm sorry, this is Google Plus, for utilizing Google Plus in a better way or YouTube videos and things like that, go ahead and add me to your circles, Ronnie Bincer, and I look forward to seeing you. See you later. Bye.